Welcome, my name is Thorsten Schranz. I'm a technical marketing engineer focusing on Cisco Secure Endpoint. In this session, we want to take a look into an integration use case involving Cisco Umbrella and Cisco Secure Endpoint. When the Secure Endpoint backend generates indications of compromise, we want to block access to specific DNS sites directly from the endpoint threat information. The Secure Endpoint connector is forwarding telemetry data to the Secure Endpoint backend. This information gets processed by Secure Endpoint backend engines. This analysis process generates indications of compromise. For a better understanding, Secure Endpoint Backend adds a lot of information, helping an analyst to understand the threat. As such an information also contains DNS-related information, the Secure X ribbon provides functions to extract this information. The ribbon also includes actions like blocking a DNS domain with Umbrella. This enables an analyst to quickly block access to specific DNS hosts to secure the whole customer environment. In this scenario, the Secure Endpoint Backend Intelligence generated a cloud IOC. This includes a description, MITRE information and the involved executable files. For a closer look into the file details, when the file has been seen or which connect the report at the file, you can jump to the file trajectory. In this case, both files are operating system files, but they have been used in a malicious way. A very useful information is the command line section of the Cloud IOC. The command line gives us a clear insight into the behavior. It also includes an URL. As we see malicious activity around that URL, we now want to block the domain with Umbrella. To do so, we can use the Ribbon app to search for domains by clicking the Find Observables icon. The Ribbon app searches for observables on the Secure Endpoint Events page. To simplify threat investigation, the ribbon automatically shows the latest threat information for any shown observable. To block the domain, you just need to open the pivot menu and scroll down to the umbrella section. By clicking block this domain, the ribbon app connects to the umbrella API and enforces the action. A notification shows if the task was successful.